A former employee at Wayne Farms is suing the company over what he believes is negligent hiring practices. WFO 48's Daquan Lee joins us in studio. Daquan, the plaintiff here in this case says that he was a victim of violence because of who Wayne Farms hired. That's right, Liz. Plaintiff Cedric Owens claimed he was stabbed by his co-worker. The lawsuit claims that co-worker had been arrested for another incident. Now he claims that had Wayne Farms done their due diligence, he would have never been stabbed. Decatur native Cedric Owens filed a lawsuit against his former employer, Wayne Farms. According to court records, Detavia Sellers stabbed Owens in January 2021 while they both worked at Wayne Farms. Owens was hospitalized and Decatur police arrested Sellers on an assault charge. Barnes Hayward, one of Owens' lawyers, says upon looking into Sellers' background, they found damning allegations. Just prior to Wayne Farms hiring him, um, he shot someone in the face, the neck, the abdomen. Um, that was information that should have been readily available. The incident Hayward described happened in October 2020, just three months before Owens was stabbed. Now, the Owens lawyers want to know if this information was omitted from their hiring process or if this was employer oversight. Keeping your employees safe and keeping them protected from somebody who has a significant violent history and who's you know, been accused of a very violent act just recently, um, you know, I think the, it's, it's reasonable that, that any employee doesn't feel unsafe in, in an environment like that. We've reached out to Wayne Farms about the lawsuit, but have yet to receive a response. WAFF learned through court documents that the assault charge at the center of this case was dismissed by a Morgan County judge at the district attorney's request. Now we've reached out to the DA's office and asked why that charge was dropped, but we have not had we have not received a response. And Owens's lawyer, Nick Law, says this case could take years to conclude. Thanks to Quan. More evidence now available to both sides in Mason Sisk's capital murder trial. The FBI has successfully hacked into John and Mary Sisk's telephone, their cell phone specifically, to use it as evidence. The cell phones were a key reason Sisk's trial was ruled a mistrial back in September. During his trial, the cell phones were introduced as evidence by prosecutors. Sisk's legal team quickly moved for a mistrial. Sisk is accused of murdering his five family members in Elkmont in 2019. Court documents show that the new trial date is set for February 13th. A corrections officer in Elmore County has resigned after video surfaced showing that officer punching.